not coming out of the box. I'm like, ah. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be doing a quick review and a lip swatch of all the new shades of the Nykaa Mac to Last liquid lipsticks. This is literally the second time that I'm going to be trying any of the Nykaa product. The first one was the Ultra Matte lipsticks. So I will just link the video down below. Do not forget to watch that. So this is like the new launch from their already existing Mac to Last liquid lipstick. So they have added in eight new shades and I'm going to be doing a review on that. Now before we can jump into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now just a quick description since like I said this is like the first time I'm trying the liquid lipstick the earlier one was a normal bullet can of a lipstick so this is the first time I'm trying the liquid lipsticks so I just want to cover a little bit of the description of the product now what it says is it is a superior matte all-day wear formula enriched with vitamin E and antioxidants kiss proof weatherproof featherproof or is it weatherproof featherproof and transfer proof wear Featherproof. What is feather proof? Feather proof. I don't know. So it's featherproof and transfer proof wear. So they have no preservatives, cruelty free, paraben free, and it is no transfer and kiss proof. So which is all amazing. So this lipstick has about 5 ml of product. It's priced at 599 and I really like the packaging. It comes like this. Yet please again, this is the first time I'm trying these out. So for me, these are new. So I like the fact that it comes like this. So it's a nice packaging and uh, I also like the applicator in it it is a diamond shaped applicator and this actually reminds me of the Smashbox applicator so it is kind of this uh, diamond shaped pointy kind of a thing so it kind of reminds me of that and it smells good so I have all the uh, eight new shades which I will be swatching one by one right now. I have a friend called Rukmani.
Okay, so uh, before I can go with the uh, pros and cons, firstly, I love this shade Kashi. It is the perfect nude shade for my everyday work. It is the perfect mixture of like brown and the pinks and it is so pretty. It is a perfect nude shade for a day-to-day -day basis. I can wear this. I think I'm gonna repurchase this again and again for sure. So yeah, this is my favorite shade out of all the eight new shades. For the pros and cons, uh, the first pro has to be that it is such a light consistency kind of a lipstick. Like it doesn't feel heavy, at the same time it is so opaque, it is so pigmented and even when you apply it once it dries, it is so light, it doesn't feel like there is any lipstick. It feels so comfortable it is so nice and I did wear it even uh, yesterday to work and the way how it faded when I had lunch was very graciously like it did not um, there are certain liquid lipsticks when it fades when you have your lunch or your dinner like when you have anything heavy at that time it it, it like removes or goes off in like patches but this perfectly beautifully it faded out it was not too bad I could just like pucker my lips and it will be a beautiful faded out shade so I really like that the third thing did I say comfortable I think I did right <laughs> just in between somewhere that I would have mentioned I really like the packaging it is really small and sleek it is perfect for traveling um, what else do I have oh the applicator so the applicator I really like it because the pointy end it is perfect for like lining the lips especially for the darker shades and the dent as well is perfect to go with your lips and it is amazing so that is the pros okay so moving to the cons uh, for the cons I think it would be that certain shades are pretty similar just in these eight itself there are certain shades that's a lot similar there's just a little bit of a difference for example give me one minute I'll show you what I mean yeah, Rukmani and Maithili, I found them to be a little bit similar. Let me just quickly swatch it. Uh, this is going to be Maithili. Okay, let me just quickly swatch it over here. So, this is Maithili, which I just swatched now, right here. And uh, taking Rukmani. Just right next to it. So as you guys can see, like it is so similar in shade. It's just like a teeny tiny bit different. Uh, but I feel like yeah, it's your choice. I'm, I don't think like everyone are gonna go and get like all the eight new shades. But uh, yeah, these two are a bit similar. And there is another neonish shade that is a bit similar. It's like a neon bright pink. Yeah, it's uh, Kufri and Sundari. So they both are uh, pretty much similar as well. I'll just do it right here. Yeah. So these two as well, I find them to be really, really similar, like these two. So yeah. So I found that these uh, four shades, that is, uh, they were a bit similar to each other. So that is the only con that I have. Apart from that, there is like nothing else. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the like and comment down below if you have any questions. Also, do not forget to follow me on my social media, which is It's Nisha Nair on Instagram and Twitter. So, until the next video, take care. Bye. Do not mind my fading hair. It's fading very weird. I do not know why. Okay.